Today, we embark on an extraordinary journey into the life of one of Africa's most remarkable queens, Queen Nzinga of Angola. Buckle up as we dive deep into her fascinating story, from her humble beginnings to her courageous battles against colonization. Our story begins in the late 16th century in the heart of the Kingdom of Ndongo. Nzinga was born into the royal family, the daughter of King Kiliwanji and Princess Kangila. Even as a child, she displayed immense intelligence and fearlessness. Nzinga grew up alongside her brothers and sisters, learning the ways of diplomacy and warfare from her father. She absorbed knowledge like a sponge, fascinated by the complex dynamics of the kingdom and its relations with neighboring states. Nzinga's family faced a significant threat from Portuguese colonizers who sought to expand their influence and control the region. As she matured, Nzinga witnessed the devastating impact of the transatlantic slave trade and the enslavement of her people. When King Kiliwanji passed away, a succession struggle ensued within the kingdom. Nzinga's brother, Mbandai, ascended to the throne. However, he faced immense pressure from the Portuguese, who sought to manipulate and control Ndongo. Nzinga recognized the dire situation and quickly became her brother's most trusted advisor. She understood that unity was crucial for their survival, so she tirelessly worked to forge alliances with neighboring African states. Nzinga's diplomatic skills were tested when she engaged in negotiations with Portuguese representatives. She saw an opportunity to challenge their dominance and protect her people from the horrors of slavery. Despite the Portuguese attempts to belittle and undermine her, Nzinga remained resolute. She demanded equal treatment and fiercely resisted their advances, earning her the respect and admiration of her people. The pinnacle of Nzinga's military career came during the Battle of Mwila in 1622. Faced with a massive Portuguese force, Nzinga led her armies with unmatched bravery and strategic brilliance, dealing a severe blow to the colonizers. Nzinga's victories on the battlefield didn't end there. She continued to lead her forces against the Portuguese, using guerrilla tactics and exploiting their weaknesses to keep them at bay. But Nzinga's fight wasn't confined to the battlefield alone. She recognized the importance of education and economic stability for her people. She established schools, encouraged trade, and fostered a sense of national pride and unity. As Nzinga's legend grew, so did her influence. She became a symbol of resistance against colonization, inspiring countless Africans to stand. Today, statues, artwork, and monuments pay tribute to Queen Nzinga's remarkable legacy. Her story serves as a reminder of the strength and resilience of African leaders who fought against oppression. Queen Nzinga's indomitable spirit and unwavering determination have secured her place in history as a true African icon. Join us next time as we explore the fascinating stories of other remarkable African queens who shaped the course of their nations.